think he's really in love, and I think we should be happy for him. Oh, you're enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> no, I'm just happy for my friend, Bob. <laughs> Or happy for you. You're totally jealous of her. Ah! <laughs> jealous of Janet. Jealous of Janet. <laughs> Yeah, a little. I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I, didn't, I didn't get that last the bit. Well, don't you think it's a little weird that your fantasy woman is nothing like me? I mean, you're exactly like Mark. Except he's a congressman. <laughs> Look, this is ridiculous. My entire relationship with Janet took place in my head. In here, and I have a wonderful, real relationship with you. Out here. In a world of... Dinner and movies and stemware. I know, but. But what? She's tall. <laughs> yes, I know, she is. Oh, honey, can't you give Bob a break? I mean, he's your best friend. Is there no way you can be happy for him? Is there no way you can be tall? <laughs> strong. No, thank you. Any word from what's his name? Yeah. The bastard got as far as Toronto before the cops caught up with him using my credit cards. Bob? Oh, that what's his name. <laughs> well, there is more than one, you know. <laughs> Owen? Oh, hi. I'm Janet. Hi. I'm Heather. Hi. I am a tremendous fan of yours. I, I love your song, Box Full of Pain. You know Box Full of Pain? Know it. Ha! Listen to anything for 36 hours straight in a collapsed parking garage. It becomes indelibly etched <laughs> in your brain. I love this office. So, you and Bob. You know, yin and yang, Simon and Garfunkel. Sitting here working out, yet still somehow earning a paycheck. <laughs> Is he coming back soon? Because I, I kind of have to go to Belgium. Like, now? It's the most bizarre thing. This song I wrote for a rum commercial to pay my rent, suddenly it's burning up the charts over there. They want me to go on tour. So when, he, when are you coming back? Oh, who knows? You know, Belgium's so rarely cut loose, it could be a while. <laughs> well, maybe I'll just leave him a note. Well, uh, Janet, uh, maybe it's not my place to say, but you do know that Bob thinks he's in love with you. No, he doesn't. <laughs> well, I'll check with the woman who's designing the tattoo, but uh, I'm pretty sure he does. Oh, wow. That's so complicated. What's so complicated about it? He's a great guy. He's madly in love with you, and uh, I think he deserves more than a goodbye on a post-it note. This always happens. <laughs> well, let's see. I could... No, but no... Oh, does he like rum? Not enough. Oh, damn. I, I gotta go. I'll call him from the airport and we'll straighten this whole thing out. I'm so glad I ran into you. Yeah. And say bye to Alicia for me, will you? She's amazing. You couldn't have done better. I know. Okay. Hey, uh, by, by any chance, would you have to remember a, a Christmas break where I drove you like 2,800 miles to Phoenix? Yeah. It wasn't really on my way. <laughs> Hi. Bob. Okay, look. I know you're mad at me, and that's why I've been avoiding you all week. <laughs> But I gotta tell you, the coolest thing is happening in my life right now, and I know you don't want to hear about Jan that woman's name. But you're the number one person I'd want to be talking to about her if only you were talking to me. I'm talking to you. Oh, great. Uh, well, well, check it out. Look at this. I saw it in the window, and I knew that she would love it. Say hello, Owen Gibson. Gibson, Owen. <laughs> Bob, I got some, uh, not-so-great news. Janet is on her way to Europe, and it doesn't look like she's coming back anytime soon. What? Uh, she isn't leaving for three weeks. I'm driving her to Phoenix. <laughs> uh, well, her plans changed, and you weren't here, and she, she took off. Oh, please, you expect me to believe that? Actually, yeah. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> you are some piece of work. You're pathetic. You, you just can't deal with the fact that this one time I got the girl. What do you mean, this one time? Oh, you always get the girl, and you know the only reason why. Because you've got the cool hair. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You with your hair, with the curls. You just stroll in a room, do one of these, and the women are all over you. <laughs> well, this one time, the man with the plain hair gets the girl. <laughs> Who are you calling? Uh, my machine. Okay, but you're not gonna like... Santa, Santa, Santa. <laughs> And see, there's even a message from her. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, uh huh. Uh huh. I'm sorry. Yeah, right. This is just one big birthday present for Mr. Coolhead. <laughs> Uh, uh, she leaves a message on my machine. Is that perfect or what? And this. I really needed an incredibly expensive acoustic guitar. <laughs> Look, you'll get over her. I did. More or less. Yeah, but you had my help. <laughs> I guess you could call it that. Yeah. <laughs> What's this? Dear Bob, I'll always remember th. <laughs> That's it? Th? I'll always remember th that night we had. <laughs> the look in your eye. Thursday. Look, what difference does it make? She'll always remember. Thumper? <laughs> Janet's song, Box Full of Pain, made it to number one in Poland. Oh, look, Mark's anti-crime bill passed. <laughs> Michael row, row the boat, the boat up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Michael row, row. Thyroid? <laughs> <laughs>